Well, today we're going to quickly try to get through, well, maybe not all today, but I'm going to certainly try to smash through a hole up there and then possibly at the other end in here and then one in the bedroom that's uh, next door. I'm not going to try to jam it into a cupboard there because it's not the same situation where we have two cupboards because there's a chimney that runs up and I don't know what they've done with it, but for some reason I couldn't put it in the cupboard. But it's a top floor, so we're not going to worry too much about it. We're leaving this one as like not quite as fancy. When I was first trying to figure out the layout of the house and where I was going to run wires and all sort of stuff, I went and drilled little holes in several spots, especially up here, to see which, or at least on this side, to see which way the rafters ran. They run this way across and this way across. What I need to determine is where this pigeon area is sitting. So I can kind of see some cracks and I have an idea um, of where it's going to be. But what I'm going to do is take the scope I'm going to peel some tape off some holes, Just take the, the, uh, the scope I have for um, looking in holes and things like that and uh, see what we can find because what I don't want to do is have it open up, open up a big hole and then there's a huge beam above me or something like that. Or if I'm on the wrong side of the beam and I can't crawl underneath it to fish the wires through and the air conditioning and everything else I've got to do. Um, so that's what today's goal is to do that. And then overall, the next few weeks before Christmas, my goal is to get all these holes in the ceiling sorted, drill holes or, or ways through to get from, from section over here into this section to this section, and then same thing on this, the floors. So I'll be one of the things I'll be doing is removing all the tiles in this hallway and in the bedroom, this little small bedroom over here, and then also gutting the top floor bathroom, the 60s bathroom. Uh, I'm going to try getting it all out and then I have a shoot I'm going to put it down and stuff like that so it's going to be a huge demo project for that because that allows me to then pass a whole bunch more cables and pipes and stuff like that and get sort of started on things going and then in the in, and in the hallways I'm going to be doing is taking up sections of tile all the way along on the both sides some of it will be running pipes through for condenser pipes for the AC or AC heat pump thing and the other thing will be running for electrical wires which will feed in the top inside of all of the rooms we'll have a uh an air conditioning unit, heating, cooling unit. So that's kind of this, this whole big part of the situation where I'm basically going to rip the house apart. Not totally, but you know, like the tiles are coming up in places and taking all this section up just to be able to do the electricity and the heating. If that makes sense. So anyways, let's get on to doing this. So what I have is a little app basically on my phone that has this thing, which is like a camera with a little like light on the end of it and Basically, it just kind of uses Bluetooth to let me see what's up there and see if we can find out where all the joists and the beams are before I start cutting holes in the ceiling. Record it. All right, let's take a look up and see what we can find. There's the hole. We haven't seen much right now. One of these, bend it a little bit, go up and then twist it. See if I can, there we go. So I know I'm hitting something there. I don't know what it is. What's that? Yeah, it's those... Or is it plaster? No, it's plaster. That's good news. And what's that over there? That's a beam, I think. So it's definitely looking like lath and plaster to me. Those are little ridges that come between the wood, the plaster. I'm going to try turning around, see if I can see where the beams are. What's that? Hmm. That would be this direction over here towards the back of the house. I think I'm going to have to take a bit of a risk. What I just don't want to do is have it... So there's definitely a joist there, right? It's definitely a joist. Ceiling joist or what do you want to call it? How can I get up? It's not the best kind of thing to use. It doesn't have enough light in there. All right. Well, I'm not seeing what I want to see, which was hopefully to see that there was a big beam there. I'd expect it to go to the ceiling, so I try to go as far up as I can, and straight up as I can. It's just flopping over. All right, next thing I'm going to try to do is use a, a stick to point up through the hole and see if I can feel where the roof is. So what I've done is I've just put a little bit of tape on here, and uh, hopefully that'll be enough to just let me be able to get it up. And I'll have this wire flopping around so much. So let's give that a go. The camera back on. Right, I'm up there now. I know where it is. Just got to get close to it. 
because the light doesn't go very far. I was there. Oh, there it is. There's the beam, I think. Yeah, that looks like a wood beam to me. Let's see underneath, I think. Yeah, let's see if we can see the ceiling. So I'm tapping on it now. That looks to be what it is. So if I can just see the bottom edge of it. That's wood, right? That's so wood to me. So there's a beam right there. So just slightly over from here. Let's see what the ceiling looks like. Or the roof, sorry. Okay, there's something. Oops. So that's the wood beam. So that's going the other direction. So those are tiles. I can tell those are tiles, I think. But at least I know that if I open this area right here, I should be able to get up enough to be able to go where, get into this area, basically, which is what I'm trying to say. That should uh, help a lot to know. Now, there's a whole section over here that I can't get to. But I think once we get above the, once we get there, we can see the beam is, we'll know what's going on. So I'm going to cut a hole. I'm going to measure now and try to cut, do a little bit of a, of a test. I'd like it to be sort of around this area up here, if I can. Just a little bit away in case if I wanted to do some sort of molding or something. And then just have the, 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 the thing between this door and the door for the other side of the house. So let's do that. So what I want to do is I want to install these, one of these guys here. Basically it's a big old, it's like a half a meter trap door thing that pops out. So I've done one already. And we're just going to continue on. Getting the other three installed. Hopefully they go a lot quicker now that I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm just going to take the frame because basically you cut the hole through the laugh and plaster here. And basically the plaster comes and matches it and you basically make a flash and then it uh, into the lock. And then you can unpop it and it folds down like that. See what I can cover over here. I mean, I don't, ex well, I don't know. It's going to make a mess no matter what you do with this kind of thing, right? So let's cover what I can. Everything's kind of in boxes or bags anyways, or in I wrapped, so but I said to my wife I would try to cover stuff, so I'm doing that. Let's put a mark in where I want it roughly to be. I'm thinking that I'm not going to have any kind of coving or anything like that any more than there. That would be the max I'd ever have it. So I'm putting that here roughly. Kind of idea. And then just, say this is our line here. That's assuming a lot, roughly our line here. Oops, that's not what I wanted, but close enough. And then just do right to the edge of where the um, thing is. Let's see how far we are away from that wall. So it's about six and a half inches away from the inside of it. I'm going to kind of start somewhere in here. That's what I'm going to just kind of start chiseling out with the uh, multi-tool. And then see where kind of the rafters lie. Because if there's a rafter right here or a joist, whatever you want to call it, and there's one here, I'll shift it over just so that it all hooks up with it. So let's get going and uh, cut that out. So last time when I did the cupboard in there, uh, a whole bunch of plaster came down on me. Uh, it wasn't really the safest thing to do. So this time I'm going to make sure I'm super safe and take as much precaution as possible. <laughs>
Let's take a look up and see if we can see anything inside the hole. Got a little headlight up there. Let's see what we can see. No, no, no. You see anything bad? I can't tell. Down here. So that's the big joist up there, I believe. There's the big support joist holding the ceiling. There's a small one beside where the light is. Now what's on this side? That's all I'm worried about. So left floor joist there. Or ceiling rafter, whatever it is. So there's the, the, the ceiling rafter. And then above it is a center of the hall or the roof, I think, that goes across that big beam. And then they basically have some sort of wall between them for some reason. I'm not sure why. And that's the structural wall there. I'm just doing all the support. It's got all the stones in it. So I think we're good to open it up more. I don't have to build a much bigger structure here to hold up this trap door and be able to pull myself up. take you up there and show you what it's looking like so far. So the kind of how much I've cut out so far. I'll show you what's up there. This my little camera. So that over there is the pigeon area and where the access door to the pigeon area is. On that side over there. So it's not looking too bad actually. I was thinking there'd be more rot and more damage, but it's looking pretty good. I can see one tile, which has caused a lot of leaking. It's fallen down. He goes up there. You can probably see the highlight on it. He's fallen down, it looks like, in that corner there. Otherwise, it's not as bad as I had thought. The next morning. So what I'm going to do next is install these, um, I guess they're braces or something, if you want to call them, and basically it'll be where I drill up and attach the door to. So there's two that go this way, and there's one in this this side that's going to kind of bump out because the spacing of the rafters is actually less or more than the other one was in the cupboard. So I don't know, they're just kind of doing random stuff. It's not like it's every certain many inches or whatever. So this one actually has the width of this required to uh, make it uh, the same width as I want. So anyways, yeah, let's put some screws in these.
we go. Now let's install these up there. frame is built. It's looking super strong. It's actually made the whole ceiling more rigid, which is good. All I've got to do is drill holes in the frame and screw those in and we're good to go into the next one. Well, let's measure out where I'm going to put these screws in and drill these holes. I'm not going to drill all of them. Well, maybe I will. I'm not sure yet. I know I'm going to need a bunch, so yeah, maybe every nine. It's a good way to look at it. Yeah, I think every nine centimeters in the corners. <laughs> all right, let's drill some holes. Should be all right. We have lots of holes. Looks good. So yeah, let's put her up. Put the clamps on, and then I'll have to fight it. See if the silly door thing works. I still think I'm going to have to chisel some stuff out of the wood, but let's see. Just such a stupid design. Don't get it. I don't like this design. Flush, flush. Oh, that's not even up. Stupid. See, so it just bends the whole thing down. That's absolutely the worst design thing. So I'll mark where I have to cut. And let's make adjustments for that. I'll have to chisel it out with the multi tool. There's no other way to do it. This thing is dull as a banana. It's for wood. It's taking forever. Let's see if this one does any better. I think I'm going to have to go old school, get a chisel. All right, let's see if I can chisel this out. 
with a chisel. Yep, that should work. Should, but we shall see. All right, let's try putting that in again. Uh, one more. We'll get her started. Pretty good. Let's see if it opens. Oh, I don't like this. These doors are the worst. It's just sticking. Come on. There we go. Give that some more. Look at that edge is hanging over. I oh, think that's what it is. Uh. Uh. That's a good start. All right, that's good. Looking good. Good, looking good. Oh, looking good. Let's put it back up. Whew. Let's just tack one more in there. Still not clearing. It's too far forward. Well, after a whole bunch of uh, off camera cursing, I finally got this thing installed. Uh, the notches I kind of more understand now. My instructions, there's nothing about making a notch. I can't understand why or what, how that would ever possibly work with the way they're saying it. So, yeah. 
anyways, cut the notch out, put all the screws around, it's all ready to go. Opens well this time, I push up here, like that, take the hook off, and we have access up there. I have one more to do over there on the far side. Actually, I have two more to do. I've got one more over there, which I want to try to get done in one day tomorrow. Uh, and then I'll do one the following day in the bedroom opposite to this games room on the other side of the stairs. So that's the plan anyways. Uh, a lot of swearing this one. What can you say? Sometimes DIY is not the easiest and sometimes it's very frustrating. So anyways, I really appreciate you following me. And uh, if you get a sec, throw me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you like this. And we'll do more later. Cheers.